Hi, my name is Julio Munoz and I was your art teacher for the Wild Art Program. We have the uh, murals with the work that you completed during the program to show you today. As you can see, we have placed all of the paintings that you guys made on um, painted backdrops and they're all going to be put into your cafeteria so you can see them all. There were almost 200 paintings this time around and some really beautiful mountain lions, peregrine falcons, butterflies, and fish. So in one of our lessons, we learned about tints, tones, and shades. Um, tints are created when we add white. Tones are created when we add gray to a color, and shades are created when we add black to a color. So if we look at our mural, we can see a lot of different examples of that. This is a great example of um, a shade uh, where they added black to the red. And then these are some good examples of tones where they've added gray to the color. Um, and then we have a good example up here of a tint where the student has used white to uh, light in the color. We also learned about primary and secondary colors. So if we look at our mural, there's some examples of more color mixing and also patterns. So a couple students have done uh, polka dot patterns. We have a couple of zigzag lines down here. You guys also learned how to protect your environment and to protect wildlife by keeping litter like plastic bags out of oceans and landfills. Hey guys, my name is Allegra and I work with Ruckus Roots running programs like the one that you all participated in last year. And I wanted to quickly remind you a little bit about what we did together in Wild Art. I came in for a couple of sessions and we worked together to iron all those plastic bags together. Um, we were outside, we were wearing masks, and we fused all the plastic bags together to create these beautiful paintable canvases that then you designed your beautiful works of art on. These murals are actually made up of about two to three thousand plastic bags that you guys have personally kept out of rivers and landfills through your creativity. And so that just goes to show you the power of art and the way that your own artistic voice can have a positive impact. So I'm super proud of all of you for completing these amazing paintings. Um, and they will be on display at the cafeteria, so I hope we all get a chance to see them once school is allowed to open up again.